Hello again folks, um, I thought we'd revisit this uh, surface mount kit that I built a few videos ago. Um, it's a 555 timer and a 4017 decade counter and as you can see it's uh, flashing these red LEDs around this ring uh, as well as the one in the centre. Um, but in addition to those LEDs there was four blue LEDs, uh, one in each corner and those uh, basically failed to flash. Uh, I traced out the board, couldn't find anything untoward, um, you know, verified that the um, resistor and diode were functioning um, and they were um, you know there was, there was nothing really to suggest there was a problem with the board um, so the only thing I could really uh, uh, put it down to was these transistors being at fault uh, now these are marked M6 now I've not looked online to see the, the pin out of these I could find very little on the M6 um, but um, I do have um, a little strip of uh, SOT23 packaged um, 805 O's. So I thought uh, today what we'd do is uh, basically take these transistors off and replace them with uh, 8050's um, and, and see if uh, see if the kit actually works. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll try and do this real time, um, but it can be a little bit of a footer as we say, to get these little um, devices off once they're on. I have run out of solder wick, which is, is quite annoying. So I'm just going to have to really sort of uh, uh, bodge my way through this, really. Uh, not something I like doing uh, where possible, but um, that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to retin that slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a sharp blade under the edge of the, the device. I don't recommend doing this on something that you're, uh, you know, you care a lot about. <laughs> but as you can see, um, just by doing that and heating up that single pin on the end there, the device just lifts off the board. Um, now the reason I say I, I wouldn't do this on something you care about or something you want to fix properly, um, if you put too much stress on these two pads here, the traces are probably just going to lift straight off the board, um, which isn't ideal. But for this a little bodge repair, um, you know, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, folks. So that's us released the single pin, and the next thing to do is obviously take off the other side. This floor, that's a blob of solder onto you. Tip of your iron there. Heat up both the uh, the pads, and there we go. That's come off there. That's off there. That's off there. And there we go. So that's them all off. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just. Uh, as best we can without solder wick, just clean up those pads. Like so. We'll take our new transistors. And if you've not seen me do this before, uh, with these uh, strips, it's easy just to put a sharp knife underneath, peel back the uh, clear film until, uh, until you've passed the number of components that you require and then just uh, tip them out onto the bench taking care not to mix them up with the ones you've just taken off because I've done that before I'll tell you right um, so then all we need to do is uh, grab it um, and it's easier to grab the component and then orientate the board rather than the other way around and all we're going to do here tack these onto the board so hopefully my head isn't in the way there and once you've done the two sides then just uh, apply a little bit of pressure and that should uh, secure it quite nicely and what I'm going to do is once these are on here um, I will go around and uh, apply a little bit more solder just to uh, make sure that they are actually properly connected. But like I say, it is, it's much easier to 
orientate the board around the component than the, the other way when you're doing surface mount stuff. And here's the last one. Like so. Okay, so that's my components on there. Um, I'll just give you a close up of that. Not too pretty, but should do the job. But what, let's say we'll just quickly throw a little bit more solder on there just to make sure that we've got a good connection. Couple. There we go. Now that is probably too much solder on there. Um, I try to be a perfectionist sometimes, but when it comes to the SMD stuff, um, if it's connected, if it's got a little bit too much solder, as long as it's not shortened, it's not going to move anywhere, is it? So that's the transistors replaced, and I suppose now the only thing is to see if it actually works. And there we have it, a working board. So there we go, all it was was the transistors that were supplied were the wrong variants. So if you do get a kit like this, um, if it's marked M6, um, don't use the transistors. You need to get yourself some S8050 transistors. Uh, those are normally marked, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, Juliet 3 Yankee, J3Y, uh, that is the 8050 transistor. So there we go, simple fix. Um, let's see, I wasn't desperate to get this working, it was just annoying me that I couldn't work out why it wasn't working. It was purely just the incorrect components supplied by the factory. Anyway guys, as always, if you found that useful or interesting, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Until then, take care of yourselves, and all the best.